brothers and sisters, has your name been slandered? Um, I read a pretty good, well, I read part of a PDF that, um, from a guy named Reuben Israel. He's like a street preacher. I don't know if he's really uh, accurate on all his doctrine. He seems kind of accurate, but uh, he has a bunch of PDF files. I think it's like officialstreetpreachers.com or something like that. But he had one that's talking about your name being slandered and how that's actually kind of like a fruit of salvation. And uh, I thought that's pretty interesting. I kind of talked before about being arrested, how Jesus was arrested and some of the prophets and the apostles. There's a lot of people in the Bible that were arrested. So, um, But, you know, this is kind of talking about... Uh, your name being slandered. So, I just printed out a bunch of verses that he went over, and uh, yeah, it's just interesting. I've had people tell me like they don't see the fruit of the Holy Spirit in me, and they 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 talk about Galatians, and uh, you know what they think the fruit of the Spirit is is like a smile on your face all the time and uh, embracing people and their sin they think that that's fruit of the spirit of course they're not even saved so they have no understanding whatsoever because you know the natural man uh, receiveth not the things you know of God so uh, they have no understanding so you know I just let it go in one ear and out the other really uh, but um, yeah, so first I want to read Second Chronicles 36, 16, and I think this verse really kind of sums it up. Uh, it says, but they mocked the messengers of God. So the messengers of God, the people who go out and proclaim the gospel, um, you know, either distributing it, you know, written or, or by word, by, you know, vocal. Uh, these are the messengers of God. You know, not people who go to a building called a church on a Sunday and sit in the pews. Those are not messengers of God. Okay, those are people wanting to be entertained. It's like going to a show, like going to a theater. Okay. Um, those are people who need to be saved. But, uh, you know, for the most part, there might be some that are saved that are just deceived that haven't figured things out yet and got out of there. But anyways... So, 2 Chronicles 36.16 says, But they mocked the messengers of God, and despised his words, and misused his prophets, until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people, till there was no remedy. So they despised his words. See, these messengers were proclaiming the words of God, and they despised God's word. Okay, um... And, you know, we still got that today. And, you know, that doesn't change at all. God's Word is the same. And there are people that still mock God's Word and, hates God, and hate God's Word. But uh, brothers and sisters need to proclaim the Gospel regardless. Um, so, you know, have, have you been mocked? You know, maybe that's something we need to examine and ask ourselves. Um... King David was mocked a lot. I got some Psalms to read. Psalm 69, 4. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of mine head. That's a lot of people that hated King David without a cause. They that would destroy me, being my enemies wrongfully, are mighty. Then I restored that which I took not away. Psalm 109, 3. They compassed me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. Words of hatred. Uh, if you watch a lot of street preaching videos, or if you street preach on the street yourself, you know you'll see lots of lost sinners spewing out words of hatred because they hate God's word. They hate to have their sins exposed. Psalms twenty-two six. But I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men and despised of the people despised of the people, a reproach of men. This is King David, man after God's own heart. Okay? Um, you know, all these false professing Christians today, 
Um, if they say so, they see someone who you know. Uh, they see someone who's you know proclaiming the, the gospel, and uh, people are spewing words of hatred at him. And you know he's despised of the people, and he's a reproach to them. You know they'll say stuff like you're you're pushing people away from God and all this. You know, and they have no understanding at all. Um, anyways, Psalm sixty nine seven. Because for thy sake I have borne reproach. Shame hath covered my face. Uh, Jeremiah fifteen ten says, Woe is me, my mother, that thou hast borne me a man of strife and a man of contention to the whole earth. I have never lent on usury, nor men have lent to me on usury, yet every one of them doth curse me. So again, uh, he's being cursed by men for doing nothing wrong. Um... Jeremiah fifteen fifteen, O Lord, thou knowest, remember me, and visit me, and revenge me of my persecutors. Take me not away in thy long suffering. Know that for my for thy sake I have suffered rebuke. So have you suffered rebuke? Uh, you know, and Luke seven thirty three, for John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and ye say he hath the devil. People said that John the Baptist had a devil. Um, Acts 13.45 But when the Jews saw the multitudes, they were filled with envy, and spake against those things which were spoken by Paul, contradicting and blaspheming. <laughs> so, uh, this, this points out a reason why people could do this. They're filled with envy. That could be one, one reason why. No, or they just hate God's word, they just hate righteousness, and they love their sin that they need to repent of and and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and get saved. Um, so I want to give some words in, of encouragement about this stuff. If you are uh, you know, suffering reproach or uh, being reviled of men, uh, Which are, if you are saved, I think that it should come in the future. But anyway, uh, Acts five forty one says, and they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. So, if we suffer reproach from men, we should rejoice because. Uh, Jesus did the same, you know, for us, and he was sinless. He didn't deserve any of it at all, you know, and we are born sinners, and we deserve nothing more than hell, and so we should rejoice in our suffering since Jesus suffered for us. Isaiah 51, 7, Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness, the people in whose heart is my law. Fear ye not the reproach of men, neither be ye afraid of their revilings. And we shouldn't. That's pretty comforting, you know. We need to remember that. Maybe that's a good verse to remember, Isaiah 51, 7, because, you know, why should we fear man? Fear God, who can, uh, you know, has the power to kill both body and soul, cast them into hell. That's who we need to fear, God, not men. First Peter 4.14 If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. <sighs> and finally... From the Beatitudes, Matthew 5, 11 and 12. Blessed are ye, when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. So the prophets were persecuted. You know, John the Baptist and Jesus was, and the apostles were. And we shouldn't think that we're any more above them. So, um... 
you know, if you're boldly proclaiming, you know, the name of Christ and, you know, preaching righteousness, I mean, of course, if you claim the name of Christ but you don't do anything, then you're not going to probably suffer reproach, you know, but then you're probably not going to get into heaven either because you probably never really were born again. But I probably should have spent more time in studying this to actually put together a good study. All I did was read verses and probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but uh, yeah. Um, so, you know, the fruit's just, the fruit of salvation is not just some, you know, smiley smiley face going around hugging everybody shaking hands that that's a that's a mask that's a you know that's how the people in the church houses are just completely fake and God sees their hearts and he knows that they're wicked and uh, us who are truly saved we can see it too we can see right through that because they don't even know the scripture They don't know the scripture because they don't want to know the scripture. Uh, but yeah. So, brethren, we will suffer and we should rejoice in our suffering. So, thanks for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.